of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, our one true God. Greetings, everybody. God bless you, and thank you for taking the time to tune in to our weekly sermon slash update slash news hour slash whatever is profitable for you to hear in this evil and sinful generation. <clears throat> this is the 27th week after Pentecost, and we celebrate today the great memorial of the Kursk root icon. Mm -hmm. Along with St. Yakubos the Persian and St. Gregory of Sinai, but it's, it's a big feast day in the Russian church. And she has been with us so many times. Um, and she has blessed us so many times because we, were, we are a part, we are the remnant of the Russian church. People will laugh and they say, you, you are a remnant of the Russian church? Who do you think you are? You don't even speak Russian. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That we can be the remnant of the Russian church even though the clergy doesn't speak Russian. How does that work? Because I was, a, uh, I was part of the Russian church for most of my life, because I was ordained in the Russian church, because I was made a bishop in Russia, still didn't speak Russian. We are the remnant. And why is that? Because orthodoxy is about the true faith. It's not about being Russian or being Greek. And so while we were in the Russian church, uh, the mother of God showed so much favor, blessing to us. I think it was in the 1970s. I was in the monastery in Boston. The Korsk root icon came and visited us, and it stayed in the monastery. I think Metropolitan Philibert was one floor down be below me. <clears throat> but the icon was given to me in my cell. And what an honor it is. To live with the icon, uh, one of the greatest icons of Russia. Now, why did it come to my cell? I was just a simple monk because I was going to, or I was asked to restore. Yes, to do some restoration work on it. And I was to photograph it. It stayed in my room. I took off the razor, a beautiful blue razor, gold, solid, heavy. The craftsmanship was exquisite. And so I took off the razor and I photographed the icon before, before I did restoration on it. So uh, this is what it looks like without the Riza. I don't know if anybody even knows what it looks like without the Riza, but here's the picture of it. So after I saw it, there's very little restoration that I would dare uh, to do. It <clears throat> so I cleaned it. That's another thing I did. I cleaned it with chemicals. <clears throat> like the state-of-the-art icon restorers did and do. So, uh, I cleaned the Riza also and put it back 
on the icon and I photographed it and it took a long time to put the lights because I had a, a 4 by 5 negative camera because when am I going to get an opportunity to photograph the Kursk root icon? Saint Seraphim was healed by this icon. I had to, uh, and the face of the icon is about this far away from the face of the Riza. So it was deep. All right, so uh, I don't have to explain very much, but I had, to, with much practice and error, to put the lights in a certain way that the face became visible. And so, after I finished all of that, I photographed it. Voila! And I made a print, and I said, now we have the best print that was ever made of the Korsk root icon. Glory be to God, and we have it. Yes. And here is a picture of it. So it stayed with me for a week. I hope I was a good host. And then in 1980, uh, in the 80s, not 1980, in the 80s, we were at the present location, and the Kursk root icon came. It came to Denver, and I was given the privilege to take it on the plane because it visited the monastery. It was a blessing. What a blessing. There was a conference in St. Louis, and they wanted the icon there. So a week before the conference, it came here. The people who brought it had to leave, and they told me, take it on the plane and bring it to St. Louis. Fine. It weighs, it doesn't weigh a light weight. It's, it's a heavy weight. Mm -hmm. But you put it around your neck, you put it around your, and it has its own pouch, and you bring it on the plane. Mm -hmm. Well, this is before 9-11. So I just bought, bought myself a ticket, and they said, what's that? I said, it's, I should have said it's a picture of my mama. Um, it's, mm -hmm. it's just an icon. <clears throat> and no questions. No one even wanted to look at it. Mm -hmm. So I went on the plane and got off the plane in St. Louis. And there I relinquished the icon to the conference that was in St. Louis. The bishops that were there was Bishop Alipi. It was of his diocese. Then we brought electricity to the monastery in a miraculous way. And so because of that, life changed. And we were able to have a building that had a furnace. So we were able to build a cathedral, and well, a big church. It only became a cathedral after I was made a bishop. In 1993, after we received the ability to have electricity, we started plans to build a convent, mm -hmm. and we made plans for the foundation of the Cathedral of the Domitian. And lo and behold, the icon of the Korsk root came at that time. And so we were able to, to walk all around the footing for the foundation of the, of the church. And we went down to where the convent is and blessed the land with the Korsk root icon. What a blessing. Mm -hmm. Then the next year, 1994, we're going to pour the footers. Now, the cathedral is built not on a flat area. It's built on the side of a mountain. Side, it's not a mountain, it's, it's, it's a considerable hill. Mm -hmm. rock. So in 1994, we're going to pour the footers. 
And I don't know if anybody knows how footers are put on an incline. It's not like flat. If it's flat, it would have been easy. But footers on an incline are steps, steps. And when the footers were dug, <clears throat> we were preparing to pour the cement, the holy icon mm -hmm. stayed at the monastery for about a week. And it stayed in, in my cell almost continuously. And again, <clears throat> I removed the reza and um, cleaned it as little as it needed. But it was a blessing. Now that we're starting the foundation, foundation of the cathedral, the icon came again. <clears throat> this icon goes all over the world. Well, except for the uh, Soviet Union mm -hmm. at that time. And then in 1995, the next year, we had built, it took a year, we had put the foundation down, put the slab down, put the walls up, uh, mm -hmm. put the ceiling, put the arches, put the vaults, put the dome on. Glory be to God. Mm. We put the plaster. We didn't. We had people plaster the inside. We had now an enclosed area. And lo and behold, the icon came again. The next year, and one of the priests that brought it, <clears throat> the name of the priest that brought it was Father George Lauren, and it stayed here for several days, and we put it in the new enclosed cathedral. <clears throat> and we were there and perhaps doing a little bit of cleaning or showing Father George um, Lauren where everything is going and explaining that this church is built like all the churches of Man Athos. And all of a sudden we hear this rumbling sound. Mm. And I said, what's coming? What's that? It's like a, a big truck. And a big semi came. Oh, yes. A big semi came with a container, a container on the back of the semi. Now, he didn't call, he didn't, I guess, well, he knew where to go, <clears throat> and where was it from, because it was a surprise to us that our order that we had made for all the carved iconostas and proskinatarian and chanting stands and they had all been put in one container, put on the boat, came to America, landed in New York, put on a semi, and came to the monastery. But it came exactly the day that the course route was here. Mm -hmm. And when the truck came up, uh, you know, I, I looked and I said, what do you have in here? And he says, uh, it's uh, from the island of Crete. I said, whoa. It all came today. <clears throat> and so, Father George Lauren, <laughs> help us unload. That was how we are continuous, continuously blessed by the Kursk root icon. Glory be to God. And, and today is her feast day. Mm -hmm. And she blesses all those who will keep the faith and love her. All right, I thank you all. God bless you. And have a blessed and fruitful week. Amen. Amen.